What's up, Lumios Trainers? Lumios Trainers Zach here. Generation 7 officially starts on November 18, 2016 with Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now we know these won't be the only games for the generation because each generation has at least two sets of games for it. Every generation has the original games that started off, followed by a third version and or a remake. Today we're going to focus on the possibility of Diamond and Pearl remakes coming to Generation 7. Instead of making a speculation video and just randomly giving you some evidence I found, I'm going to give it to you in a countdown. So I give you my top 5 hints for Diamond and Pearl remakes. A good hint that Diamond and Pearl remakes are coming are the release dates of previous remakes. First of all, Diamond and Pearl were released in Japan in 2006, so this year the games will become 10 years old. Red and Green got their remakes after 8 years, Gold and Silver got it after 10, and Ruby and Sapphire got it after 12. So Diamond and Pearl are just around the age where they should be getting their own remakes as well. I noticed that there's a 5 year gap between each remake. With the latest remakes being released in 2014, it's possible that Diamond and Pearl remakes will be released in 2019. That fits pretty well because most generations last 3-4 to four years, so that would make Diamond and Pearl remakes the last game of Generation 7. The reason this is at the end of the list is because Game Freak can do whatever they want. If they wanted to, they could just be like, SCREW IT! There will be no remake for Generation 7, just like we did for a Generation 5! So this isn't really solid evidence that Diamond and Pearl remakes are happening. Coming in at number 4 are the available Pokemon. For most generations, you can complete the National Pokedex if you get all the games in that gen. Whenever there's a remake, the Pokemon available in that game are not available in the games before. For example, when we got X and Y, a lot of the Hoenn Pokemon were missing. That was until we got them in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So if a lot of Sinnoh Pokemon are missing in Sun and Moon, that means we might get them in potential remakes. Also, since Alola is a tropical region, it would make sense to not have Pokemon from a northern region like Sinnoh. So we'll get them in the Diamond and Pearl remakes. Number 3 is a starting island in Pokemon Sun and Moon. CW Poke, I hope I'm saying your name right by the way, made an awesome video where he talked about the possible hints for Diamond and Pearl remakes. Kinda like I'm doing. Anyways, one of the points he brings up is the real world counterparts to some of the locations in Alola. This harbor and this mountain is a reference to Pearl Harbor and Diamond Head Volcano. Did you get that? Pearl Harbor, Diamond Head Volcano, Sino confirmed! Maybe it's just a coincidence which is why it isn't higher on this list. But it's still an interesting thing to know. Maybe in Sun and Moon there will be lots of references to diamonds and pearls. Only time will tell. Number 2 on this list is the theme. What makes a remake work really well is when the theme fits well with the whole generation. For example, Generation 6 games X and Y had the theme of balance and harmony. This can be seen with the legendary Xerneas, Evoltal, and Zygarde. That theme fits well with the theme of Ruby and Sapphire remakes because it's all about the balance of nature. Fire Red and Leaf Green's theme didn't really work well with the theme of Ruby and Sapphire, but that was like the first remake so I guess it can be excused. Sun and Moon appeared to have the theme of space, and Diamond and Pearl remakes could easily work well with that. One of the themes of Generation 4 was the history of the universe. I'm pretty sure space fits well with the whole history of the universe since it's part of the universe. Since Arceus created the Pokemon world, maybe it can include Solgaleo and Lunala into the lore. I mean, they do represent the sun and moon after all. Now it's time for the number one reason. You might have seen this coming, but the number one hint for Diamond and Pro remakes is the Rotom Pokedex. Rotom is a Pokemon introduced in Diamond and Pearl during Generation 4. It was a big deal because it had multiple forms depending on the household appliance it entered. Now isn't it a little weird that Rotom is becoming relevant again during Generation 7? Maybe it's because the games where he got his introduction in, Diamond and Pearl, are getting a remake. Birdkeeper Toby made an awesome theory explaining how Professor Oak might be the creator of the Rotom Pokedex. One of the points he brings up is Professor Oak's vacation house in Eterna City. This could be the place where he was studying Rotom before making the new Pokedex. Rotom is found in the Eterna Forest. That's right next to the city where Professor Oak is staying. That can't be a coincidence. Diamond and Pearl remakes could be a prequel to Sun and Moon, 
the same way ORAS were prequels to X and Y. That way, the games can show the origin of the Rotom Pokedex. Alright, those are the reasons why I think Diamond and Pearl Remakes are coming. Now I want to know what you're thinking. Do you think Diamond and Pearl Remakes are coming? Let me know by clicking the poll on the top right. If you disagree, then let me know in the comments. But respectfully, please, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Also, follow me on Twitter to see what's up and what's new. Last but not least, make sure you leave it out to the fullest, and I'll see you all next time.